Welcome everybody here to our next webinar at uh, JFD Bank and a warm welcome in the name of JFD Bank as well. My name Stefan Frodichowski as always for JFD Invest webinars. JFD Invest, yeah, that's the topic of today. And uh, what I would like to do is a little bit to introduce JFD Invest at all. And finally, improve your investing experience, because that's the second title of the webinar. And um, we talk about JFD Invest and we talk about how to improve your investing experience. JFD Invest is a quite cool trading platform, a little bit of wealth management platform. That means you can invest into existing trading strategies, which have been pre-selected by JFD, and you can copy those strategies directly into your JFD Invest account. So it's a little bit of a uh, copy trading platform or mirror trading or social trading platform. You can name it as you want, but the good thing is you can do everything in the internet. You don't need an uh, always running computer, internet connection for that PC, any expert advisor. No, it's uh, everything is done directly at JFD. Oh, I forgot to mention the Date. Yeah, today we have the 20th of September 2019, uh, one o'clock. Yeah, that's the time of um, today. So, overall, the different topics is uh, introdu introduction of Dave Dean West. Then we have a look on the highlights of last week and um, some trading strategies. I will introduce those as well. And uh, finally, we will have a look to my personal JFD Invest account and see what has been done over the last couple of weeks. And I can tell you already, um, I'm almost at one year with, the J with my personal JFD Invest account. And um, I'm above my target, which has been 25% gross profit. I'm at 28. So that's the potential of JFD invest let me show you a little bit more around jfd invest and um, here you can start at the home page of uh, jfd and then you go for j investing and then jfd invest and then you are almost in jfd invest almost because first i would like to show you a little bit around what's really possible with jfd invest i mentioned already there are existing trading strategies which you can copy into your jfd invest account and here you have a quick overview about the five top performing strategies and you see what we are talking about we are talking about more than double digit growth numbers uh, with those trading strategies, even exceeding the 100% level for one strategy, which is called Hyperion. 100%, that means the account has doubled. Uh, and this, in this case, uh, in the time of one and a half year. Isn't that a good result? I think so. You see already some additional key figures, which are quite important for the next step for your own because you need something like a review process, something which is telling you which strategy you should go for. And that means you may write, write down some, some preferences, some matching rules. So you may think in drawdowns, that means losses. Yeah, that's even possible, of course, but we have maybe to limit those losses. And so there's someone who is telling, okay, 10% loss, that's too much, that's too heavy. And uh, another one which would um, go for even 50% losses, at least temporarily. And uh, yeah, so those preferences have to match to those strategies. And the other thing is, what I would always recommend is to go for portfolios. So not to go for a single strategy as being copied into your trading account. Hey, no, why not select several uh, if possible, if money allocation is um, available, then 
yeah, then, then might it be a good idea to have several strategies copied into your JV Invest account that leads to diversification and that normally leads to smaller drawdowns. And that is what I have done. I Right now, as we speak, I follow six different strategies with my 10K account. And that kind of diversification is um, getting much better results, at least from my perspective, than going for a single strategy. You see some key figures here. Equity balance deviation is a quite important one. I will introduce in a second when we are really into the platform. Last month's result, year-to-date results. Okay, you see, uh, not that bad. So they are really quite cool strategies, and they are even more um, with different behaviors, different instruments being traded, risk characteristics. So they are really quite, quite different, and uh, that's good to enable the possibility of diversification. But how can you be part of JFD Invest? Okay, it's just four steps needed. Uh, first is you sign in um, um, a JFD Invest profile, and that is a green button here on top, and that means a given email address and a password, and then you are done. Next step is, if you like, you open a JFD Invest account, which is a special trading account. Even if you have already a JFD an existing trading account, you cannot use that one. You need a special one. Um, there are two reasons. One is um, you follow professional traders, and therefore you should get the same trading conditions, meaning a leverage of 1 to 100 for any Forex trade. And um, that is a condition for professional traders. The JFD Invest account has the same uh, trading conditions. And the other special thing, and that's the one you might not like, you cannot really trade on your own. So you cannot open trades going long euro, US dollar or something like that. Okay, the account is just meant for those copy trading activities. Finally, you connect your profile with your Invest account, and then you can start uh, following um, any trading strategy and that's all so just those steps and you can do the same things that i do with my personal uh, jfd invest account but before i jump into the platform let's have a look to the highlights of last week and uh, the best performer of last week has been the trading strategy archimedes um, earning in one week 1.1 two percent and uh, you see already some other numbers for other strategies butterfly balance not so bad for one week and um, you see already the uh, growth of that account um, we will see later the update of uh, the ongoing week and there will be a step down okay uh, let's have a view on that because we make every number absolutely transparent. Uh, therefore, I don't want to hide uh, those kind of numbers. So that's a top performer. If you like that kind of email, just send an email to JFD, support at jfdbank.com and so you get that kind of update every week. So one email per week. But now it's really time to go in. And there's a good thing, you can go as a guest already. And that's the part you can do always and even without any profile. And you do the same steps like I do here. Um, and now we have the full view on 15 strategies. So there's a second page. Um, of course, the same uh, top performer as on, shown on the internet, Hyperion, Gold Rush, Gold Mine, Forex, kind of butterfly. And now we have to do that kind of review process. And I will guide you through that process. I cannot give a, um, a real recommendation which strategy you, do, you should follow. Uh, one thing is it's uh, not possible because uh, I don't, uh, I, I'm not allowed to do that. That brings me. Um, to another thing I simply forgot at the very beginning but I show it now um, I have to show the risk disclaimer so we talk about trading we talk about trading strategies but finally of course you do all 
uh, your decisions on your own and um, whatever you do you do it on your own responsibility <clears throat> i think that's quite self-explaining but it has to be at least mentioned once so now let's come back to that review process i mentioned you might have preferences and let's take hyperion even that has been not the top performer last for last week as a good example because it has a quite high number for what i introduced a little bit or i mentioned it up to now only equity balance deviation but let's start with the growth the growth over time is shown in the first picture here and you see that we have much more statistics of any trading strategy which should help you for your review process so this is the growth and you see a fantastic growth above 100 percent that's the good side but you see drawdowns as well okay that's trading not every trade is a winner trade so therefore we have drawdowns as well unfortunately but they belong to trading and there is now another key figure, equity balance deviation, which means that it's a different between all the, your, your amount um, of your trading account and open positions. Because think about regular trading. You, if there's no trade open, equity and balance equal each other. But if you open a trade and that trade goes into losses, then you have a deviation. If the trade is still open, uh, even profitable, there's always a deviation between equity and balance. And if that, if your trade goes into the minus, then you have those kind of negative numbers here. And in this case, for this strategy, there has been a point in time with the highest number of uh, 40%. And since that number is that important, uh, we have even a graph for that. So you can see that versus time. And now you see that happened last year, September. Okay, but that, what does it mean? Think about a trading account of, let's say, 10,000 euros. Minus 40% floating losses would mean there are floating losses of 4,000 euros. And therefore, it's important to know that. And if that is okay for you, then definitely Hyperion would be a good strategy for you because it has the highest earnings, but it has a high risk. So there are two, two sides of the metal. And in this case, you have equity balance deviation as a downside. But nevertheless, with that high risk, the trader behind Hyperion was able to uh, earn more than 100%. And that's a good side. Okay, that's equity balance deviation. But you see, there's another thing I would like to uh, introduce. We go back to the grows, and now we go for equity. Okay, let's start with there are two green lines, which means once again, balance and equity. The difference we talked about. But now, hey, what's that? What's that step down here in the graph? And that's simply because we haven't seen that step in the grows. That means here has been a risk drovel. So the trader took out uh, more than 20,000 euros, which is perfect or fine with everybody because it has nothing to do with your money. If you follow that strategy, it has no impact. Uh, if you follow the strategy, definitely. If you see steps here, always compare, please, with the growth. And if you don't see the steps here, then it has been a deposit or a withdrawal. We have lots of other key figures and statistics here. Here we have the monthly growth table. Um, ideally, it would be totally green, and I will show you. Uh, we have two strategies which are totally green on the monthly return table. One is the strategy butterfly, and that I will show you um, because it has been the second top performer of last week. And the other strategy is uh, Forex Gun, uh, which has totally green monthly return table, which is quite cool thing and we have trading statistics about the, the strategy you see okay more than 2000 trades have been executed here uh, which is good that it's not let's say uh, five lucky winners and that's a good strategy no really statistics behind and what you can see else is you can see the traded instruments and uh, here you can see that this strategy is mainly trading DAX and Dow Jones uh, and a few other symbols, but uh, majority of all trades is on those two indices. Maybe that is 
one element of your review process as well, that you have preferences in traded instruments. And we are extremely transparent, so therefore we show everything um, for your decision process. Finally, let's have a view on the details here because I want to introduce two additional numbers which are important. One is there's always a minimum investment sum. So you cannot follow that strategy with less than 6K. Okay, that might be too much, then you go for another strategy for you. Um, no problem, there are strategies with less minimum investment sum. That's the one. Um, you can always go with more, but not with less. Uh, and the other uh, important number, I don't want to hide that here, uh, that is the performance fee which is involved with 25% on the profits, of course. And the other good thing is, it's based on high watermark. That in short means only if your followed trading strategy reaches new highs on a month's end base, then you would have to pay that kind of fee. Therefore, high watermark, which is a quite fair principle to um, for any fees and there's no management fee so no base fee involved that is one strategy that was hyperion but now let's have a view on the top performer of last week first and then we go for butterfly top performer has been uh, archimedes archimedes um, has that overall growth and you see okay the last three months there has been a problem with it strategy okay that happens as well we that we, everything goes constantly north uh, would be strange even as i mentioned we have two strategies which up to now have totally green monthly return tables and i will show you at least one so this uh, butterfly in a second but this one is yeah, almost green but the last three months okay july is uh, more or less a zero but the last two months have been minus months for that strategy special reason behind i can tell you that was related to trades on euro polish slotty as i mentioned you can always see the traded instruments of a given strategy and in this case the majority of trades are executed on euro polish slotty and over the last month there was a special situation with that forex pair and that um, have led to those uh, um, minus trades here but anyhow strategy has overall a return of 16 uh, percent um, so not that bad let's have a view on minimum investment 3k so half of Hyperion and uh, by the way other things you can see here as well is the money under management so assets under management and how many investors are following that given strategy okay so that's one additional example and now finally let's go for uh, butterfly because that was the second top performer of last week and discuss that strategy a little bit more um overall you see the growth here it's almost one year trading history so um, we have the missing october and yeah isn't that nice a totally green monthly return table perfect since i mentioned the important key figure equity balance deviation let's have a view on that here okay minus 10 percent about and let's look for the uh, equity balance deviation versus time and you remember for example the one of Hyperion that, that was on average about minus 10 minus 15 percent here okay last uh, this year May uh, there have been trades uh, up to 10 percent in the minus but overall it's quite stable uh, sometimes we have um, equity balance deviation so floating losses trade trades which are temporarily in the minus finally those trades have turned to profitable trades but um, that has been seen in the grown growth uh, but here overall average minus one minus two percent so it's by far not that heavy growth okay not that high as Hyperion but 
exceeding already 20% in one year. Uh, that's a quite good yield, I think. Um, so you will not get that as um, on, on your regular bank account. So quite interesting. Let's have a view on the traded instruments. And the traded instruments in this case are more or less major forex pairs. There's no real clear definition what is a major and what is a minor. But if you look to those traded instruments here, you can see euro is involved, British pound is involved, US dollar is involved, Japanese yen, Swiss franc, and a New Zealand dollar. Um, but always uh, even New Zealand dollar, US dollar, since the US dollar is a real major, uh, even that one I would call a major currency pair. The good thing about those kind of forex pairs is that the trading costs, which are always involved uh, within those graphics here and um, charts, um, always costs commission and uh, spreads are of course involved, not the management, uh, not the uh, performance fee, but uh, all other costs are always involved. Um, in. So, and since those forex pairs have quite low trading costs in terms of spreads and commission, the strategy is trading exactly those kind of instruments. And it's doing that job really good. Let me first show you my account and then, um, because then I'm locked in, then I can, then we can have a view on the history uh, of um, the orders because then I want to show you another detail. So. Let me log in uh, since I would like to do that anyhow uh, and show you uh, my personal JFD Invest account. And um, let's start with the overall performance of that. Okay, here we go. Um, we are still with a butterfly, but let's start with uh, the overall account. And you can see until May last year, okay, it was a perfect run. Then uh, three or four steps down um, on the recovery process right now. But honestly, I have started at the very beginning, 24th of um, September, so four days left. Then one year is over for me with uh, my personal JFD Invest account. And my gross return is 28%. Target has been 25. Hey, that looks good. That was really good to have that earnings on my trading account. Let me first continue the story with uh, Butterfly because now we can see um, the last trades or uh, any trade, last trade, the trade history by closed positions. Um, of course, we can only see the closed ones. It's uh, still load loading, but I would simply like to show you another detail uh, which might have an impact on your review process because that is the most important um, for you to find the right strategies according to your personal preferences. And in this case, what I would like to point out is what are the typical lot sizes of trades within that strategy? You can see here that has been the last trades. Uh, it's always 0.01, sometimes a little bit higher. But in order to investigate, let's have a view on what is the maximum numbers. Okay, maximum number has been 0.01. Uh, eight five lot, and uh, that you can do simply by by sorting and pressing those buttons here, and you see okay sometimes there are higher lot sizes, but it's quite rare because we are already now on the second page, and on the third page we are already down to point uh, one nine, so a few trades have been executed with higher lot sizes, just that you know that as well that they are from time to time. It's trading higher lot sizes with that account. Let's have a view on the details. So with 3K, you can follow that strategy. Finally, everything in order to diversify your trading activities is, for example, for my trading account shown here um, in that table. Here you can see the six strategies I am personally following as we speak, and with different money um, amounts of money. So, and that is exactly the process of money allocation. I have always to have a view on the minimum um, because I cannot go uh, further down. The minimum investment uh, sum you need for a given strategy. But then 
you are free to place that amount of money uh, or what which money uh, which amount uh, you would like to choose and let me just show you how simple it is to to change things here i will not do it because i don't want to change something but for example if i want to stop the uh, following the strategy vulcano it's just one mouse uh, click okay there will be one next pop-up window and a second question but you see stop allocation and then all the open trades of that strategy are closed in my uh, account and no new trades would be opened so that's all and same thing how easy it is if for example i want to, to follow uh, a new strategy it's just pressing the button um, follow and then you see okay you need to allocate a certain amount of your account and um, minimum is in this case uh, 3400 euro which i personally cannot do by, because i have only left 200 euros here but then you can change in my case i cannot change because i'm below the limit uh, you you can change the number with how much money you want to follow and what you can do else let me introduce that as well is risk management let me accept that then you see we have a slider here and that slider means for example if it would be at 32 percent if at any time the followed strategy has losses of more than 32 percent everything would be closed of those, that strategy so it's something like a stop loss level um, for normal trades but here on a on an account base um, so you can limit the risk if you like um, but of course i would always compare um, for example equity balance deviation of the history with that number so following um, for example hyperion uh, with a number of 15 uh, percent here <clears throat> would more or less automatically lead to a uh, stop out so therefore um, that kind of review process is quite essential and quite important to do. You can see it's really easy. <clears throat> and now that's the other totally green um, strategy, Forex Gun, now already on the road for more than one and a half year, uh, was still a completely green monthly return table. That strategy, by the way, is trading exclusively Euro US dollar. There are other strategies which are a portfolio in its own, like gold, um, gold rush, for example, trading more than 30 different instruments. Uh, quite interesting as well, by the way. But here you can see the other totally green monthly return table of those strategies. Finally, let's go back to what you can achieve and hopefully you can uh, or you have already achieved even more than I have with my personal um, JFD Invest account. So 28% is my number, gross profit here uh, looks quite well. So seems to hit my uh, year target um, that must have been 25. Okay, that's good. And um, if you have any questions, please do not hesitate to send me an email to s.friedrichowski at jfdbank.com or you send an email to support at jfdbank.com. Uh, we will help you anyhow, uh, whatever problem you are facing. So um, that is just an offer. That's for today. I hope you enjoyed. Let's finally see next week whether I have hit my target, so one year target of 25%, and let's see what's going on at JFD West. Enjoy the day, enjoy the weekend, and see you next time. Bye-bye.